Hi everyone, this is Shan Shan. Today I want to discuss with you the artists I like and have an influence on me, and introduce their works and some of my small experiments. First of all, the first artist I want to introduce is Matt. He is an American painter who is good at painting with acrylic paint. I like his wild style with unique visual effects. I was really attracted by his paintings, and I liked it every time I saw it. I like the strange man and American rabbits in his paintings. Every character in his paintings is so vivid and interesting. And his style of painting also has a certain influence on my own works. I gradually like this similarly rough but very interesting feeling. And uh, just like this one, a little skeleton dancing in a ballet skirt is vivid. And this is some of my experiments. I try not to paint by digital painting, but to paint by hand. These two feelings are very different. And when I painted these pictures, I used acrylic paint and large brush. I learned from the works of artist Matt how to directly ex express my emotions through powers images. And when I painted, I didn't think much about it. I just wanted to express my emotions. When I finished the paintings and scanned it, I set up to export mood. Uh, orange, orange, no color, and the other black and white. I think both effects are good. And the next artist I like is Takato. She is a Japanese painter. Whenever I see her paintings, I always feel that this is a unique sense of beauty. Her images are often composed of bones, muscles, human heads, and flowers. Her rich imagination always am amazed me. The overall picture is uh, harmonious and beautiful, and I think it's very Japanese style. Some of the scenes of her works will have a bit of um, eroticism, but I think she handles this feeling very well. The next artist I want to introduce is Chameleon. She's a um, Vietnamese illustrator and a graphic designer. Her works are very exotic. This painting is about thinking about the mood of a girl in love. I like her bright colors. I also extracted the colors from her paintings, and maybe I can use them in my own works later. Her series of paintings are more inclined, inclined to flat vector illustrations, which are different from the paintings I introduced before. Her pictures always gives me um, uh, gives me an um, exotic style. After seeing her paintings, I really want to know about the um, ethnic customs of Vietnam. I think this is also what she attracts me. She is also very good at recreating ancient gold and animals into her paintings. I think the uh, I think the Characters in these two paintings are also very similar to the Chinese Guan Yin. The next artist I like is Terribles. She is a painter and cartoonist. She is good at using bright colors and humor and uh, uh, humor ways to record her daily life. I selected some of her cartoons about small problems that girls encounter in daily life. The characters in her comics are based on herself, and I think she is as cute as in the comics. 
just like this one. She described the process of a girl cutting her bones. The girl always cares about her hair from the beginning to the end. The hair fills out. These small details are all expressed through comics. I think very funny. There are also uh, there are also these two the little cartoons about uh, brushing teeth and squeezing acne. Um, I think it resonates very much. This is not only her troubles but also my troubles. I think yes, I always think so too. Why can't I draw it? I think maybe. Um, it's because I usually let go of some small ideas easily, and she always inspired me to the continue to enrich, to enrich my sketchbook and record uh, and record my thought. These two are also her daily life record of her mood changes and getting up. I think this is everyone's daily life, and art really comes from life. I really like the story of her pictures and her interesting, and her interesting body humor. The next artist I want to introduce is David Lynch. David Lynch is a contemporary American artist. He thought. The only way to find the new is to start different things and say if there is something that can come out of ex uh, experimentation. I think his pictures are full of tension, reflecting his true thinking and reflection on the work. The last artist I want to, uh, I would like recommend is Julian. Julian is a mixed media artist who really uses our, uh, acrylic pants, what colors, colored inks, pen sticks and pens, felt tips, markers and pencils. Uh, this is a set of thoughts of COVID-19. The reason I like these groups of paintings is that Although most of them are composed of doors, lines, and plants, rather than more iconic objects, I found it very graphic. Uh, I like its color matching, which always attracts me to look and look again. Because I am very interested in human face, when I search for keywords on human face on the internet, most of the images that comes up was more similar. So Julian's abstracted uh, expression of human face instantly uh, attracted my attention. This is an experiment I did after seeing Julian painting. I uh, readily selected a character to to reproduce him. I enjoyed that the process very much and uh, the choice of colors and uh, creation made me feel very relaxed and happy. Compared with the um, previous one, I think my painting is more um, uh, I think my painting is more conservative and cautious. If the priest one is more bit um, biased towards towards graffiti, then this one is more specific specific. And this is the first time I have tried it. Uh, this style of painting and more attempts are needed. And this is this is all my reference in here. So this brings me to the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.